Hi guys, welcome to Investing with JYK and today we'll um, talk about an update on uh, Nevson. So a few days ago, 20 on 26th of uh, June, Nevson released some um, inferred resources for the lower zone. That's the first time uh, they have released this. We always I mean, if you refer to the last video and to the look at their um, uh, presentation, there's always an understanding there's a large piece of porphyry um, copper deposit uh, underneath the upper zone. And so the idea is that you have an upper zone that's fully um, uh, explored and then there might be a couple other spots that have similar geology as the upper zone and then you have a lower zone that has a really large uh, uh, deposit that's lower grade. So it came out as about uh, uh, equivalent of uh, one percent copper right? uh, if you count for both the copper and the gold uh, they usually come uh, together there might even be some uh, silver, but they're not mentioning it. I guess they aren't that much. So, and uh, oh, this is this is also good. They have limited arsenic content, so it's somewhat clean. But um, so, what does this mean to us, right? That should change the uh, estimate for what Nevson's value is. So let's try to see how we can convert this into uh, we can convert this into uh, like a net present value. Obviously, a very crude. Um, like back of envelope kind of calculation. Okay, so we know they have 1.7 billion tons of copper, and um, that um, is one percent. So one percent of copper is for a ton is one a ten kilo, uh, kilos. And then you multiply that by the price of copper, which is six point six seven something, something six point six, so sixty six dollars per uh, ton of ore. Now let's say that uh, they only get to recover about say seventy percent. Of the ore, that's fairly low, actually, because the usually copper recovery is uh, above eighty percent, uh, eighty to ninety percent. And let's say they get seventy percent of the ore, so you're looking at forty-six dollars, right? So let's for a simplicity, let's use fifty. Okay, so fifty dollars per ton of ore processed um, for open pit. This is not going to be open pit, by the way. This is going to be block caving. But for open pit, typical processing cost is twenty dollars per ton of uh, ore milled uh, all in. So that's including the capital expenditure and everything. But uh, I read somewhere, I think somewhere here, they talk about cost. It doesn't say anything. I remember they said somewhere where the cost is slightly higher, for about somewhere around five dollars ish. Block caving cost per ton. I think it was slightly more expensive. A numerical ranking method. Ooh, do we have anything? No, I'm not a research. Can I do that? Oh. Ooh. So 
So Bingham Canyon is open pit, I think. Yeah, so that's an open pit. It's very deep open pit, by the way. Um, even the Nefson isn't that deep. But um, do they say anything about cost per ton? Nope, block caving. A shit ton of more. This one is actually very close to what we have in terms of size and everything. So production rate is definitely lower. Um, Grassberg, I thought they were going into... Oh well. So I, I looked into Adiniente, but uh, they don't seem to publish the same um, documents. Anyway, so the production rate is going to be lower. Um, ah, here, the Grassberg is, is moving, will reach uh, open pit limit by 2016. So they will start, I don't know, this is 2018 now, so I'm not sure if uh, they will go in. They have already gone into uh, underground. So, is there a cost curve? Cost curve. I just want your conclusion. No, 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 no. Oh, God. That's completely useless. Um, but I, I read somewhere it was like five dollars more. I couldn't find it anymore, but I, it was like five dollars more um, uh, per per ton to pot, uh, to actually mine because you're now underground. So we're looking at twenty five dollars per ton of ore in terms of um, profits. But keep in mind that this stuff. Uh, needs to be, uh, you know, it will come in the future. So there, it's not like uh, it will suddenly, you know, you suddenly get a huge uh, influx of money. You're not gonna turn all of them ore into copper and then be that be sold. So I'm thinking, okay, so the the actual mining cost is significantly lower. Uh, so I'm gonna, you know, do a underestimate. I'm going to estimate that the actual sustaining cost is twenty-five dollars, and I'm going to add in the capital expenditure. So it, this is not rigorous at all, but since we're doing it, we're underestimating the value of this uh, project. Then um, you know, at least if we're wrong, we're only wrong to the upside. So twenty-five dollars per all, uh, per ton. We got one point eight billion tons, and uh, let's assume it's going to be a twenty-year mining period. And uh, let's see what the net present value is. And also, I'm going to assume a five-year lead time. And. Uh, And also, I'm going to assume that the capital expenditure is going to be very similar to this guy here. No. This guy here. This uh, Mitchell place. Because it was very similar in size to uh, yeah, so the actual operating cost it was only five dollars, but I'm assuming twenty-five dollars. Yeah, here, one point seven billion tons, and on Nevson's one point eight billion tons. Very similar. This one's initial capital expenditure I remember was something like eight hundred million uh, dollars. Capital initial capital uh, 
Let's see. Introvert friends. Da, da, da. Hmm. Instruction. Cost of which carry out the materials. Material labor. By four million. Ten million. Da, 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 da. Grand total. Initial direct installation cost. Initial three million. Think of something like pre-production phase energy. Da, 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 da. I'm assuming. Why do I? Why do I remember I saw something like eight hundred million somewhere? Ah, oh, here we go. That's why. So the whole thing is going to be thirty-one years total, and the uh, uh, first six years will be eight hundred million dollars in. Um, uh, capital expenditure and sustaining of 74 million over 31 years. And then total cost is going to be $3.1 billion. So uh, it's going to take 31 years to mine. Okay, so maybe we should change that too. Add a couple more. Add six years of lead time. That. And let's say 800 million spread up across the first six. So 800 divided by six, uh, 133. This is all going to be in millions. All right, so we're going to uh, one, remove one year because that's the initial capex. One negative 133. Well, three, 133, but here is 133. Okay, now the rest, assuming we now get into profitability, you got um, one seven is all gonna be in millions. One seven one eight zero zero times twenty-five per ton, because we assume it's gonna be like twenty-five dollars per ton in um, in profit. And um, this is in millions, so you have to divide by again 31 years. So it's going to be 14 something, 1400, 1 billion dollars a year, somewhere around that. Let's see how much this goes. Probably should have used Excel, but I just found this thing online, so. And the other thing is, it's not going to be evenly spread out. So this is again underestimating. So a couple of underestimation. First of all, it is not true that it will take six years just to start production. Right? The production will be probably earlier. Secondly, the production values will be higher at the beginning, towards the beginning, or um, like couple years after the whole production begins um, as you go towards the end of the mine production typically drops so both of these would have a effect of increasing NPV so this is again an un underestimate of the NPV also then uh, uh, as we said before the 
uh, what I should have really have done is um, is really just sustaining capex. So or value minus the cost, which is around five dollars, and then you take out a bunch of other stuff, and then um, minus the seventy-two million, which is what you can see here, seventy-four million per year. So that actually might come out much higher, but let's see what this does. This gives you a eight billion dollar net present value. Okay, so eight billion dollars. Nelson owns, um, I think, somewhere. I think it was like forty percent. I think it was forty percent. Uh, I might have to. Might be wrong, but I think it's forty percent of that. So, forty percent of this is three billion. Let's say, you know, just say three billion dollars in that present value. Okay, but this is still at the inferred resources stage. There's a lot of uncertainty. Let us say that we take a 90% discount on this under this very lowly valued um, uh, on on the underestimated NPV. So just divide, multiply by 0 0.1. So you're looking at just sorry, this thing's going crazy. Anyway, so it's going to be 300 million dollars. So let's say this whole thing underneath the lower zone is 300 million dollars, right? And the net present value is probably going to be in the billions. Um, the 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 whole thing is probably worth a bit more than I'm guessing. I might be wrong, but I think this thing is going to be worth a little more than eight billion dollars in NPV total. Nevson has forty percent of that, so that's three something. Let's say it's just three, and then because of all the uncertainty, let's say we only value it at ten percent of its NPV. That's three hundred million dollars. Okay, so three hundred million dollars. The uh, lower zone is 1.8 in NPV. Let's say we take a 50% discount because, again, you are not. Um, so we're looking at 300 million here, right? So 50% discount. The reason is the mine isn't built. It's not at the feasibility study stage. It is not a bankable report yet. You cannot borrow money with a pre-feasibility study. You need a feasibility study. So that, so let's say we take a 50% discount. So that means you have a $900 million uh, deposit. People, some people barked at me saying mine, but oh, come on, you know what I mean. And Bisha um, has, uh, they recently also published a thing Talking about the extension of Bisha future revenues. Where the hell is that? Bisha, here. So, what they expect, you can look at this and you say, okay, the updated mining schedule 2022 has a little bit, whatever. Uh, right, so. You can see that most of these don't change much. Most of these don't change much. Uh, so their revenue, their their um, projected cash flow should be very similar. Let's say Bisha itself. This is fairly um, close to the end of the mine, so you kind of know what the hell is going on. So Bisha itself was producing fifty million dollars in cash flow. In a quarter, so that was in the last quarterly. So that's times four. That's two hundred per year, right? So you got four years. Let's say you know eight hundred. Say this is the something with Eritrea. It's a horrible country. The government might go crazy. So we take a fifty percent discount. What to come out is one point six billion dollars. So this company. With crazy valuation, in, in the sense that a crazy low valuation on all of its assets, 
um, is worth at least $1.6 billion. And currently, I think it's only trading at one. Oops. Uh, and as you, huh? what the hell? Think it is only yeah one. So that's still a sixty percent upside, I think. So the whoever's buying it should pay quite a bit more. All right, so that's what. I think this thing is worth. Um, some news came out recently about Rio Tinto and thinking they are thinking about buying stuff. So now we might we might get a bidding war between Rio Tinto and Lundin uh, family. So we'll see. Maybe there won't be a bidding war. Maybe there is, but. But the the biggest threat to Navson's story at the moment, I think, uh, is copper prices. If copper prices drop to two dollars or even lower, maybe the NPV will just collapse, right? Because that uh, really, really hurts your margins, as you basically have a declining revenue and no offsetting uh, cost. Your cost doesn't go down at all. The only thing that goes down is revenue. And you get screwed. Um, but that's the biggest. Um, that's the biggest danger here, I think. Otherwise, this company, with crazy conservative valuation, is a one point six billion dollar company. With just because of the assets. And I hope this is useful. And um, see you next time.